have any certain, uh, let's say, for lack of a better term, like coping mechanisms or way that you handle accepting, okay, this is what I cannot control. I have to let it go. Mm -hmm. I can control this. I have to stop focusing so much on what I cannot do, even though it really sucks. Mm -hmm. Do you have ways of shifting your mindset to uh, accept that a little easier? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would just say, no, like the realization that you have the power within you to to solve any problem that's thrown at you. Mm -hmm. Because like you wouldn't be where you're at today if you didn't. Like we've all been through ups and downs, but we're, I mean, as right now, like we're alive, we're right here because of our ability to solve problems. So yeah. being able to recognize that you have the power within you um, and the information out there to find information to solve a problem, I think is the first step. Um, but yeah, I think you'll find when you when you can block out the things that you can't control, like you'll find that you have more energy to attack these things that you can control and being mm -hmm. able to like size up a problem and know like how big a problem actually is. Like that's the first step. Like, yeah talked about it before like if from if a year from now like you're not even going to remember what this problem is we're not going to be talking about it it's not worth spending five minutes out of the 24 hours that you have in a day like worrying about it yeah. so being able to like kind of filter out and screen those things is like the first step but um and that comes like through experience and that comes through like molding your brain and training your brain to understand like what things are and mm -hmm. i think as you go through life experiences it'll frame your mindset as to like what problems are what problems aren't yeah. um, so that's like through experience but yeah i would just say like realizing that and then outlining outlining a clear action plan of like what's like one thing that i can do right now to at least get me closer to solving this problem yeah so okay that's kind of attacking like that because you're one person you can't do a million things at once so yeah um t attacking one problem like one step at a time i like so. that yeah that's solid advice yeah thank you yeah yeah i think uh <clears throat> I don't know. It depends on, I guess, situation, but doing everything you absolutely can control. Mm -hmm. Like for me, all of the guilt, if I know I left something on the table that was controllable, like if, you know, I can't affect someone's decision or emotions, whatever, with a deal, anything. But if I did everything that I could do, every single thing in my control, and it still went sideways, like me personally, I'm okay accepting that. That's easier for me to accept. I don't have guilt with that. Mm -hmm. If it's like, oh man, I didn't do everything I could do and that went sideways, then it's like, okay, now I'm going to worry about what I cannot control. But if mm -hmm. I was the most prepared I could be, did everything I possibly could with what I can control, then I can be at peace.